now there is a instead of said there is an also a new one which is called as awk 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 is also can be used for the same purpose you can do the same thing same thing which said can do right you can do that also right now i'm using a avk command to print the content of html page again same everything is basically printed so avk is also a same similar kind of command so just type awk geeks for geeks you will find all the it is very similar find and replace command manipulating the reports manipulating the data and everything same awk is also can be used it is a kind of a scripting language we can apply multiple things you can find and replace you can do multiple things in this same kind of thing but again please read for more details because i don't know if you will be using the awk command or not i have never used it awk command to be honest okay i'm just giving you an overview there is a command exist which can basically use to parse sing some file and give you the details from a particular file if you want to filter the file more filter you can basically print only this command count this right everything you want to do there are options available the another last important command which we basically we will be discussing is called as scp secure file combination now i cannot show you the demo for scp copy from one folder to another but if you want to copy from this machine i want to copy from my machine to your machine this should be a secure copy right suppose both of us are into a linux based system and i know your ip address i can copy a file from my file to another file by using command line so there is an option also by using the scp command so if you open scp command for example scp geeks for geeks like right let's see you can copy from one folder of yours to your friend's folder through a secure connection you can do that and this command you will be using in your automation also because sometimes we have to copy our automation from this machine to another machine so the syntax here is very simple copy scp the text file into a jayesh machine jayesh at the rate ip address into this folder of jayesh you can copy this into the another folder of jayesh machine jayesh is a different person a different linux system he is using and the only important thing is that scp should be supported in both of these for example in windows i cannot copy from mac both of us we should be using scp authentication and everything you will find it here if there is an authentication needed how to pass the username password also if there is a different port number also if authentication is required see there is a authentication required you need to enter it is telling you by using the authentication you need to enter so you cannot directly copy to jayesh machine you need an authentication from jayesh right jayesh will give you authentication yes it is very similar to win scp in case of windows we have something called as win scp which is very popular ftp file transfer program now the last command which i want to discuss is called as ssh secure shell connection so ssh basically means that secure connection secure connection what is it what exactly it means suppose this is you and you are using a machine suppose this is a windows machine i am using there is a server which is a linux server you can connect to the command line you can connect to this command line by using the ssh what you can do is you you will get a access to this machine here into your command line i after doing a ssh connection if you do ls what will happen whatever the files which are here present which are present here they will be visible to you here also and you can copy this file into your local also by using some mechanism of ssh got the point ssh basically means you are getting a access from this machine into this machine got it for example i am using a mac right if you see i have also used an ssh connection there is a linux machine which is present into my machine only through ssh i am basically connected in this case if you want to get a access ssh basically means that secure shell connection if you want to get a access of a another machine which is present suppose uh, in bengaluru you want to get an access of it ui you will not get you will not get ui you will get what exactly you will get you will get only option of command line you can run everything on command line you can run automation on this machine everything this is called a secure connection it is very similar to this no it is team weaver without ui suppose i will get your access to your your cmd can i copy paste one folder of mine into yours also that is also possible can i create a pdf also possible can i see all your files yes so ssh is basically a key username password you will enter you will get an access to the machine it's a secure connection by the way nobody else can see it clear everyone clear with this point i hope this was helpful thank you guys i'll see you